Hi everyone and welcome to the inaugural episode of what we will call Avalanche Storytime, an ongoing series where I, Adrian Dater, take a look back at some of the stories I either wrote, remember, or both in my 20 plus years of covering the team. For the first episode, I thought, why not tell the story of, well, how I got the story of the team moving to Denver from Quebec? And why not bring in the yellowed copy of the actual newspaper that the story appeared in? in February of 1995. As you can see, this looks like it should be in a museum. And yes, that does make me feel really old. But anyway, I think the background of how I got this story may be more interesting in some ways to people, especially you aspiring journalists out there. So let me take you back to February of 1995. I was a part-time non-salaried writer at the Denver Post. I mostly wrote about high school sports and some college and minor pro sports and I was doing some clerk type stuff around the office. The day before this story ran, I was in the office writing a high school girls state swimming preview story. It was probably about two o'clock in the afternoon and I was down to go to a DU hockey game later that night too to cover that for the paper. My already busy day got a lot busier though when a call was transferred to the phone at the desk I was sitting at. The person on the other end of the line apparently had asked for the paper's hockey writer. Since I was the only guy at the paper who covered any hockey at the time, having covered the DU Pioneers for a couple years, and also the Denver Grizzlies of the IHL, I was the guy and I just happened to be in the office, which didn't happen all that often. So the person at the other end of the line, who shall forever be nameless, told me he had a tip for me. He had heard that the owners of the Denver Nuggets, Comsat Video Enterprises, were interested in buying the Nordiques and moving them to Denver. Now it's important to note here that until this call and until my story the following day, there had been no talk about the Nordiques moving to Denver. That while there had been some chatter about the Nuggets owners wanting a hockey team at some point, most everyone assumed they would get an expansion team, not an existing one like the Nordiques. The call was brief. I was just given the tip and that was about it. You might want to check it out, my source said. And so I set about doing so, all the while trying to finish up the girls' swimming story and knowing I had to be at the DU game in about three hours. So without divulging any names again, I was able to get a couple people on the phone who I felt confirmed the news that indeed an offer had been made to buy the Nordiques. So I had a quote in my story from the ComSat spokesman, a man named Paul Jacobson, who essentially told me, no comment, we don't comment on rumors, but Jacobson did give me one thing that really helped my story out a lot. He told me on the record that Comsat was interested in adding a hockey team to McNichol Sports Arena to join the Nuggets. So while I didn't have any quote on the record confirming the tip itself about the Nordiques, I did feel I had enough to go to my bosses at this time. Sports editor Mike Conley, assistant sports editor Mike Bialis, and I told him, you know what guys, I think we can run with this. I think we can run it in the paper the next day. Don't forget, at the time, 1995, no website, nothing to get breaking news out there right away. This would have to be kept under wraps until the next day's presses would roll and the paper would roll off the presses and there would be the story. That's how it worked in 1995, kids. So while the bosses were a little bit skeptical about going with some part-time stringer on such a potentially huge story, the decision was made. The paper would go with it and I'd write it under my byline. While I felt pretty confident in my sources, that doesn't mean I didn't have a very sleepless night. What if the story turned out to be wrong? What if our blood rival at the time, the Rocky Mountain News, also had the story? What if they had an even better one? If I screwed this up, my whole career would be over before it could even start. Here's that entire sports section from the next day. As you can see, ComSat Bids for Nordique source claims led the front page. The Rocky Mountain News, by the way, had nothing. Nothing that day on the Nordiques or anything else about hockey. It was a genuine scoop and a little bit bigger than the other two stories of mine in the paper. On May 25th, the Nordiques were officially sold to ComSat and not long after that, I was given the full-time gig of covering the team. My dreams had come true. I went from a kid living in my parents' basement two years before to flying on airplanes covering hockey for a living. 
Good thing I was in the office that day to take that call, right? For BSN Denver, I'm Adrian Dater. Until our next story time. <laughs>